talk about the BBC licence fee. It's £173.30 from next April. It's a lot of money. Um, that's a lot more than people often be paying for their Netflix um, or, or other things. Now, a lot of people have got their subscriptions, whether it's Sky, Netflix, whatever it is. But if you, you can choose to cancel that. You can say, look, that's an optional extra I want to pay for or not. BBC, if you own a television, if you ever watch your television, whether you never see a TV show on the BBC ever, 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 which increasingly is what people are doing, not watching the BBC, you still have to buy it or you could face going to prison. Um, do you think this is the beginning of the end? Well, normally when you put the prices up, you sometimes improve the, the quality of the product. Well, <laughs> you've certainly been focusing on it. And I hate to break it, Julia, to you, but the BBC haven't had a great year this year. No. They used to be saying that, you know, well, say what you like about the BBC, but for those big royal major occasions, they were fantastic. Hugh Edwards there to host it. Oops. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. We saw that when Russell Brand was at the BBC, real allegations about what was going on there. And all being denied, I must stress that. All being reasons, denied, yeah. but we've seen products like Newsnight cancelled, curtailed. It seems like it's not only getting shrinkflation, but inflation at the same time. In fact, an inflation busting at fee rise. And this is really serious because there are people that do watch television, some of them, not the BBC, mm. it's like ITV where the adverts pay for it, and can't really afford the fee. Yeah. You, you, and and again, increasingly, you know, people feel like you know, it's something they want to cut back on. But it is interesting, 400,000 more people, according to the Culture Secretary today, Lucy Fraser, um, Lucy Fraser sorry, um, are just, in the last year, just not buying it. Now, have those people all just given up on watching telly? Let's be honest, I doubt it. They're people either trying to save cash uh, or they're people who are going, do you know what, I've had enough of this. I don't want to have to pay my money for this. And it's when the BBC is saying, well, we're going to have to cut back on Newsnight, we're going to sack 60 people. You've got 60 people working on a 45-minute show that goes out, you know, it's five days a week, which, I mean, it's the BBC. It's got barely any viewers. I have friends who work on that show, but I, you and I have both gone into a lot of TV studios over the years. Um, it is unbelievable how many people they've got with Oxbridge degrees and clipboards yeah. uh, who are manning these shows. I mean, it, they could carve their staff on every single show and put out exactly the same output. Yeah, and there's no reason that people are switching off. And I disagree with you, actually. I think probably people are switching off. I think increasingly they're, they're, they're going to services like Netflix and yeah. Amazon, where because it's online, you don't need to pay your TV licence. Mm. And I think that's the real problem yep. for the BBC. But I can understand why somebody in the north of England with traditional values doesn't want to pay for it to watch well, it I think virtually anybody. I mean, I've, I've never been one of these sort of like, oh, axe the BBC. Things. I've got big question marks about the licence fee. Call it a proper tax to stop pretending it's optional. Um, but, but, but the key thing for me is, is just sort of, it's got to be a service that is neutral. It's going to be, their coverage of Israel and Gaza has been shocking. Horrendous. Uh, their coverage of, 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 of uh, climate change, net zero, shocking. Uh, their, their coverage of refugees, immigration, shocking. They are so blatantly, and, and yet again, like there's another you know, senior BBC figure, he's got a job, he's going to go and work for Yvette Cooper. I mean, you, you know, the shadow Labour. We, we know exactly what their politics are. Um, and I think a lot of people are saying, why am I paying to basically put out, you know, Labour propaganda all day? And remember, there's a nasty aside to this. One in ten, one in ten of all criminal prosecutions at the magistrates' in this country, court, yeah, at the magistrates' court, are for not paying the license fee. They are occupying the courts. They have got yep. nasty, aggressive bailiffs that go round, particularly yep. impoverished areas, banging on doors, terrifying old ladies into subsidising people on huge, great six-figure salaries in London to tell the very people they're persecuting why they're wrong and yeah. old and racist. And bigoted. And bigoted and, yeah, exactly. And unrepresentative society. Yeah. It's nastiness. Yeah. It really is. I, I, don't, I just don't see... I can't see in 10 years' time as a BBC licence. I just can't see it. And again, if they want to survive, there's so much they can do to survive where they actually, you know, they, they wouldn't have half the country plus going, what on earth are you talking about half the time? 